Okay, so I'm going to try to explain where I'm off to tonight. This is Monday, Thursday, which is sometimes known as Holy Thursday, whatever. It's Holy Week. So I'm just going to wipe off this lens and be really gross while you're watching. Hi. Um, is that any better? Probably not. Um, so it is the big service of the year. We had Palm Sunday with the cantata. Easter is a short get them in, get them out because it's all screaming kids. But this is the big holy one. So they do communion, they do what, confirmation, whatever, they do this big long tenebrae thing where they read all these insanely long passages, like 12 or 13 elders and members of the church, whatever, and all get up and read, and one by one they read the song passage, then they put out the candle, and then the, by the end of the service the whole church is pitch black, and then we scare all the kids by having this uh, person sing from the back of the church, were you there, in the pitch black. <laughs> which is fun. But the best part of the service, and I'm going to attempt to film this tonight. We'll see how it goes. Um, my favorite part of the whole service is part of the reading when they do, and Jesus was crucified. In the back of the church, they put a piece of wood with nails in it, and a guy starts hammering, <laughs> and Jesus was crucified, and we hear whack, whack, whack on the hammers. <laughs> It makes me laugh every time because it's just so freaking dramatic. Like, really? You need to do the hammers? I know it's supposed to be like touching, but I just find it hysterical. Um, people are always like crying or whatever, and I just think it's the funniest damn thing. Um, so I'm going to try to film that. I actually keep wishing he would miss, and I hit his thumb and go, Jesus Christ! <laughs> that would be so wrong, it's, but yet so right in so many ways. Anyways, um, the problem is, is that the church is in pitch black. So, you know, the screen on the back of this thing, which I can't show you because it's on the back of the thing, um, lights up and there's no way to cover it up, really. So there will be some ambient light coming from me and my camera in the pitch dark church. So I'm going to probably not be able, you'll be able to hear it, just not be able to see it. Not that there's anything to see because it's pretty dark in there anyways, but we'll see how this goes. So, yay Monday, Thursday, and yay, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, I'm going to hell, but it's still really fun. If there's ever anything I would never want to see, this is on the short list. A bass concert. First Congregational Church of Hammer a Good Friday bass concert. Please join us for the Indoor Labyrinth for a concert of peace and love by professional bassist John Wall. Come early and spend a walk. The Labyrinth's refreshments will be served. No charge for this event. You couldn't pay me to go to that event. Oh, nothing worse than a solo bass. That doesn't mean singer. That means the giant old bass. Oh yeah, that's really <laughs> meditative. Copying the Easter music and the Monday Thursday piece. That's a nice little ditty. It's only four pages long, which is nice. of wood and hammer. See, they stand in the back of the church and the guy is stuck to with a hammer. Bow, bow, bow. Gotta love drama. So, this is the tenebrae table set up. There's the cross. They light those out. There's our block of wood in the back. Here's the organ and the piano. The choir sits here. Lectern. And well, that's it. It's a very small New England church, but it'll be pretty small. Okay, time to go do some choir rehearsal. For the sixth grade class that we're all very happy about, uh, as well as the Tenebrae service, which is a time of uh, out of my distress. I called on the Lord, the Lord answered. Are you still asleep and taking your rest? Enough. The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of... 
Then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. Right. The inscription saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last breath. The curtain of the Monday, Thursday. <laughs> I guess that you're not supposed to say that. Okay.